Hey, good afternoon, everyone. We are at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium talking all about the Arts and Cultures Festival. We are with Brent right now. And Brent, this is, you know, a pretty big production of all the things that are going to be happening here. Kind of tell us about this festival that's going to be going on. Yeah, with the Arts and Cultures Festival, we're really trying to focus on artwork around the world, all sorts of different cultures, groups, histories. Uh, we're all one living planet. Water connects us all. Nature connects us all. And this weekend is just a celebration of all those diversity and that connection that we have. And it's so awesome that you're going to have so many different interactive things, it sounds like, for, for kids to enjoy. Kind of tell us about some of those. Yeah, so we're going to have our educators talking about how animals, nature, and art have been connected through stories and artwork that people have represented all throughout the world and history. Uh, we're going to have some fun stories that we'll be sharing. We'll have animal encounters that we'll be talking about how they've interacted with different peoples and groups. All sorts of nice stuff. Plus, we're going to be having outdoors our sidewalk chalk, chalk art once again. So fun, so much to do. I think one of the things that I'm most excited about is the animal encounters. Kind of talk us through what's happening over here. Yeah, so here we're having an animal actually get involved with the artwork process. So this is. Look at her go. Yeah, this is a Star Lord, one of our uh, geckos. And we've got some nice little artwork here with some non toxic paint that we're getting. I love it. She's, she's a fabulous artist. That's right. It's completely natural. <laughs> so this is just one of the things, but you have, I know you have the snakes that come out and the kids can be interactive with that. So yeah. Lots of things like snakes, that. lizards, uh, some tortoises, all sorts of amazing animals. And then I know we have a lots of uh, groups that are going to be performing like this group here. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. So we're going to be having different performing groups coming, especially on the weekends. People will be, have an opportunity to see amazing performances by different groups highlighting uh, different cultures from around the world. And you can check out our website for further details on exactly what's going on when. All right, let's go ahead and check out uh, the group. So we're with Emmanuel. Tell us about your group real quick. Uh, so we are a group of folkloric Tolan. We're based in American Fork and we've been dancing together for two years. Most of our uh, dancers have been uh, dancing uh, before this and they have um, several years under the belt of experience on, on dancing. Well, I've been watching you guys practice all morning and you are fantastic. So I'm going to step aside and kind of let you guys show us what you can do. So take it away for us. <laughs> En el campo me encontré con el eterno Me dijo que el que no cante y baile se va a ir al infierno Como yo se ve el profundo suelo ver la realidad Veo dar vueltas a este mundo y muy triste a la humanidad Sufre, pide y llora porque está perdida No sabe de dónde viene, quién es y a dónde va Marbolejo, Vargas y Villa le dijeron algo en Dios Vamos a hacer un mariachi del cual 